defy them. The debate continues. Michelle Cortella is the president of the American College of Pediatricians. She just wrote a piece in which she says, we're quoting now, transgender ideology has infiltrated my field and produced large-scale child abuse. Cortella says doctors are encouraging parents to have their kids change genders when there's no evidence these changes are safe or even helpful. Dr. Cortella joins us now. Um, doctor, thanks a lot for weighing in on this. One of the reasons I wanted to talk to you is this is a, a field, I'm not sure what it is, of social science or medicine that is changing so fast that it's, it's hard to sort of know where we are exactly. And you're in the practice of providing medicine to kids, so I wanted to get your perspective on it. What are you seeing? Thank you very much, Tucker. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Um, I think it's important to say that everyone on both sides of this issue is concerned about finding loving and healthful solutions for yes, all children. Right. Yeah. Um, it, it, honestly, um, we at the, the American College of Pediatricians and also I have many colleagues on the left also insist that those solutions be rooted in, in reality and transgender ideology is not. Um, sex is hardwired from before birth and it cannot change. Um, and that's why we have we've actually called this child abuse because by feeding children and families these lies children are having their normal psychological development interrupted they're even they're being put on the puberty blockers which essentially castrates them chemically followed by surgical mutilation later on this is this is child abuse it's not so, health care so as you know you will be if you haven't already a, be accused of committing child abuse yourself and of being cruel and unloving and not caring for these kids, of, of, of imposing a medieval theology on modern children. How do you respond? Right, but as, as you said at the beginning, this is about science. The, we, what is going on now with the puberty blockers followed by cross-sex hormones, followed by surgeries, has absolutely no track record whatsoever. The loving solution for children who are, children who are ages three to 10, they engage in magical thinking. They, they don't know the difference so easily between fantasy and reality. We need to nurture them through adolescence, through natural puberty. Our job as parents and physicians is to help children embrace their healthy bodies. And when this is done, once they get past puberty into late adolescence, as many as 95% will come to embrace their bodies and identify with their biological sex. So what, ha I mean, since this is not just something we're debating as college students, but there are physicians involved who are prescribing drugs, what do we know about the effects of heavy duty hormones, synthetic hormones given to little kids, like long term? Right, well, we don't have long term studies, which is, a major problem, which is why physicians should not be telling parents that this is settled science and that it is safe. Um, we do know that when puberty blockers are used appropriately in other settings that um, we have observed in adults, for example, they can be used to treat prostate cancer right. and some gynecologic issues in women, that there are uh, there's evidence that you can um, impact memory and cognitive ability in a negative way. Um, and as far as the cross-sex hormones, if you have a young child on puberty blockers who goes directly to cross-sex or sex change hormones, they become sterile. You're sterilizing children. They can't possibly, little children cannot possibly um, understand the risk of ha having a medication and then never being able to have children in the so future. what's the young, what's, I didn't know that, uh, there's a lot I don't know about this, again this has all happened so fast, mm -hmm. I don't think most people really know what's going on, but what's, what's the youngest age at which kids are getting these kind of drugs? The guidelines suggest that puberty blockers be given at ages 11 to 12, but I've had reports from colleagues across the country and you can also find them in various news reports that children as young as as nine have been put on these puberty blockers. And what it does, it arrests normal development. Puberty right. is not a disease. You know, you're, you're stopping them. It's not yeah. just a matter of sex, sex uh, characteristics. You're arresting no, brain not. development. There's a lot there. Mm -hmm. Dr. Catella, thanks a lot for that report. I appreciate it.